morning everyone. Be out in the blessings on this beautiful day, the first day of summer. It's absolutely gorgeous here in Connemara. I'm heading up the road now to get some golden furze blossoms for my Bealtaine celebration. Bealtaine is that time of year when we celebrate the beginning of summer and the rise in the sap. We're celebrating that joie de vivre of life. We're happy to be alive and we're celebrating creativity, fertility and fecundity. We're being grateful for everything we have and looking forward to a wonderful harvest because of this time of year. So my Bealtaine fire is on a stone so that I don't scorch the sacred earth and it represents Bel, the ancient sun god of Ireland. He is back with all his vigour and brings light and warmth to encourage life to grow and to multiply. I'll be putting some of the furs on the fire because it creates a really lovely, sweet smelling smoke and it's very cleansing. In ancient Ireland, cattle would be run between several bonfires to cleanse them of pests and parasites and any negative energies and then they would be released out to the summer pastures. You can read more about Bealtaine traditions in my blog, which will be going out over this weekend. Once the cattle have gone through the smoke, the people, the young people particularly, will jump the fire to improve fertility, maybe to improve their chances of romance and um, all the juices are flowing. So I'm going to jump the fire as well for a sense of that useful energy and vigour. Here is our darling hawthorn tree, the mother tree of this land that we're looking after. And um, she actually goes down quite deep on the other side, so she's taller than she looks from here. And um, she's just coming into flower, the little buds are appearing. So traditionally you would have your, your may tree and um, you would decorate it. So I've brought some of the firs. You bring yellow flowers as an offering um, and as a decoration. So I'm just going to leave some of the lovely firs next to this hawthorn tree. So she is a lone hawthorn tree, so she's a fairy tree because she's seeded herself and grown here herself without any human effort. I have a special gift because she's a fairy tree and this is for the fairy that dwells in the tree and it's a little drop of putching. And of course this hopefully makes the fairies very friendly towards us and will also help to increase our crops and our harvest. And another thing that the fairies like is oats. So I'm just going to throw in a handful of oats and hope that our oats that I've sowed will do really well and be flourishing and thriving. Traditionally, apart from the yellow flowers, um, you would put on little ribbons and decorations. So I'm using natural fabrics here to just put on little bows. I've got some pink, I've got some green wool here. 
and so I'd just like to make it clear this is not worshipping a tree this is acknowledging the tree as a relation and for the work that the tree does in the garden energetically so energetically this mother tree encourages all the other trees to grow and that energy flows out and hopefully encourages all our crops to grow but it's a Decorating the tree is a reciprocal, um, it's, a, it's a token of gratitude. It's a token to say, I see you, I see you as a unique individual, a beautiful part of nature, and as I am a part of nature, and we're all in it together. So there's no separation. So as you would for anybody's birthday, you'd give them a gift or a present, or you'd do something lovely for them. This day, May Day, is a lovely opportunity to do something for your green relations, as I like to call them, your friends in the garden. And it's just to celebrate that energy of life, because this is the time for life. This is May time, it's summertime, and hopefully, by working with the energies of the land and the earth and the trees, Everything will flow in a beautiful harmony and give us a really good, a good crop. So thank you for being here, all of these relations. The rose bushes here are coming into full bud, so we should get some roses in the next few weeks. So everything is looking beautiful and you can't help but be really happy on a day like this, no matter what is happening outside. You just have to look at the growth already and you see all the leaves are greening, all the trees rather are greening. It's just a lovely time of year. I have a little string of shells here as well that my daughter and grandson put together. And it would be traditional to put shells around a tree as well. And I don't know why that is the case, but I suspect all life comes from the sea and the shells come from the seashore and it just ties everything together. This notion of life and growth. This evening I'll take the embers from the fire and I'll scatter them around the, the whole of the land here, um, which again is part of the Bieltana ritual to encourage good crops, good harvests, health and happiness for everybody, bring that energy of fire and passion and creativity to the vegetable beds. And um, I will enjoy the rest of the day because it is so beautiful and sunny. It's a real example of a summer's day. So I hope you're having a great day too, wherever you are, and that you have some sunshine. If you'd like to know a little bit more about Hawthorne, how you can use her medicinally, she's in volume two of my books um, that are available. All the links are down below, so you can have a look, and you can have a look at the website and see what else we're up to over here. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. So long.